still, will you? I am sitting still. I'm talking to your cow leg. I don't think it speaks English. That's all. You're finished. Where'd you get the cute puppy, Mr. Cavallini? It sure looks friendly. Friendly? That brute is vicious. That's why I rented him. We've been having lots of burglaries in the neighborhood. Oh, but he's just hungry. Here, fella. Want a nice sandwich? Forget it, Dennis. He's specially trained never to take food from strangers. Mm. He ate it. Sure. He knows I'm not a stranger. I only live three blocks from here. Besides, all dogs like peanut butter. Peanut butter? Yeah. And I put in some pickles and chocolate-covered marshmallows and tuna fish and a dash of chili for flavor. No wonder he looks sick. <laughs> Hello, rent a watchdog. This is Cavallini's barber shop. You can come and get your attack dog. No, he's not attacking. He's having an attack. This really isn't necessary, Dennis. It's the least I could do after making that dog sick. Besides, Ruff is the best watchdog in the whole world. If you insist. But I doubt if any burglars will show up on Sunday. Okay, Dimbo. I'll hold the chisel. You swing the sledgehammer. All right, Johnny. I should have known better. As long as we're guarding the place, I may as well give you a shampoo. <laughs> Don't complain. You're lucky it's not Mom doing it. She makes you wash behind the ears. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like something's clogging the pipes. Just a little more. Come on, Dimbo. When will I ever learn? Okay, Dimbo. Help me get the door off. That's enough. Let's blow this joint. But what if somebody sees us leaving? That's why we're going out to the barber shop next door. Gee, that sounds like giant termites. Wow! Those termites are even bigger than I thought. Hey, you guys aren't giant termites. No, we're, uh, wall inspectors. And this wall sure doesn't pass the test. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you're no wall inspectors. You're bank robbers. Sick em, rock. <laughs> Don't mind if I borrow a quarter to call the police, do you? Be a guest. Sheesh. My shop? It's a total disaster. But at least we kept those crooks from stealing all your money. All my money? A dollar seventy-five. Dennis, how can I ever thank you? You could use this again next Sunday. Ruff loves being a watchdog, don't you, Ruff? <laughs> 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 
to welcome you all to the Fort Darrow Military Reservation. And I'm also pleased to introduce you to the Army's latest super weapon, the finest machine of its type ever built, the Wildcat Bat Tank. computer is so advanced it doesn't even need a crew. Is that correct, Wildcat? That is correct. Ooh. As you may guess, the Wildcat has passed all its field tests with flying colors. Dad, what's flying colors? Shh, not now, Dennis. That concludes today's demonstration. I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour. Let's go, Ruff. I just gotta see those flying colors. <laughs> what is that boy doing? I wonder where they keep the flying colors. Please repeat the question. Who said that? I did. Who's I? Who's you? Where's you? One question at a time, please. I'm still working on flying colors. You come out of that box, whoever you are. I am a computer of superior intelligence, and I happen to like it in this box. Thank you. Sorry. Didn't mean to insult you. Apology accepted. Now as to your first question. Where do they keep the flying colors? That does not compute. Next question. I thought you were supposed to be real smart. Next question. Well, where could I get a triple scoop chocolate butterscotch mocha cone with almond nuts on top? The nearest location for such a concoction is Jamie's Malt Shop, downtown Tucson. Do you wish to travel there? Sure, let's go. Come out of there, Dennis. You hear me? You come out of there before. Before. Something terrible happens! Yeah! Ah! George Wilson, you come back here this instant! There must be something wrong with the tank's computer. It won't respond to the control device. I can't stop it! Somebody stop this thing! Don't blame me! Gee, Mr. Wilson, what are you doing up here? General, you've got to stop that tank. It's got our boy. I can't stop it. It won't respond to my orders. 
Oh, dear, my poor George. Will somebody tell me where this crazy thing is taking us? We are headed southeast to a location known as Jamie's Malt Shop. For a triple scoop chocolate butterscotch mocha cone with almond nuts on top. Which happens to be in downtown Tucson. Our route is as illustrated. That way? There? You can't! No! No! Not that way! Why can't we go that way, Mr. Wilson? Because we'll end up at the bottom of the Grand Canyon! Could you ask your nice computer friend to turn us around and head for home? Sure, Mr. Wilson. Don't you want a triple scoop chocolate butterscotch mocha cone with almond nuts on top? I'll survive without it. Please talk to the computer, Dennis. Pretty please. Say, Mr. Computer, could you turn us around now? We want to go back. No. No! I have been ordered to travel to Jamie's Malt Shop. And that is where I'm going, and that's that. But... And don't try to talk me out of it. Uh, uh, uh. If that darn computer won't listen to us, we'll make it listen. All we've got to do is find the right connection. Like these? Sorry, Mr. Wilson. How about these? No! Don't touch those! You did it, Dennis! You saved us! Mr. Wilson, we ran out of gas. There they are. Thank goodness. <laughs> Martha. Are you all right, George? I'm fine, but I'll never look at another tank without getting a cold chill. Oh, Dennis, we're so glad you're safe. But look at all the trouble you caused today. He didn't cause any trouble, Mr. Mitchell. He saved us a lot of trouble. Your son proved that our new tank's computer isn't reliable. A lot of people could have gotten hurt if he hadn't found that out. Do you hear that, Dennis? You're a hero! Somehow, you've done the right thing. Gee, Dad, I'm glad about all that. But I still got a big question that needs answering. What's that, son? That tank's got flying colors. I sure can't see them. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? That was the strongest tank in the American Army. It was built to survive anything. 
except Dennis Mitchell. Oh, Henry, this is so romantic. Going back to the spot where we spent our honeymoon. Ah, those sure were carefree days. You mean you used to get free care for me? Not exactly, Dennis. You weren't even born yet. Gee, and what did you do for fun? Oh, we did lots of things. Walks in the woods, dining by candlelight. That must have been a long time ago, before they had cars or electricity. Well, we're here. Why, the place hasn't changed a bit. The last time we were here, your daddy took me in his arms and carried me across the threshold. Why? Were your shoes all muddy? No, Dennis. It's a honeymoon tradition. Allow me. Why, Henry, how romantic. What a charming honeymoon suite. It brings back such memories. If you need me, I'll be in the next room. Isn't that thoughtful? He wants us to be alone. <laughs> alone at last. Dennis, are you all right? Just fine. If you're wondering about the mosquitoes, Willie took care of them. Dennis, what's Willie doing here? Since you and Dad came back to this lake, I figured Willie ought to come along too. He was born in a lake. Step is really difficult. Hey! Whoa! 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 Wow, Henry! What moves? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Wow! That is fantastic! Yeah! Well, <laughs> no doubt about it. Folks, the winners of the dance contest are Alice and Henry Mitchell. That was great, dear. Whatever got into you? A frog in my underwear. Henry, why don't you come to bed? What's the use? I'll never be able to sleep with all that croaking. Maybe some fresh air will help. Good idea. Ah. Hmm. Huh? Bad idea. Dad, have you seen Willie? Take your pick. Never mind. I found him. How can you tell? That's how. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Wait, Dad, you must If he must stays have... any longer, I'll be the one who croaks. <laughs> To us, to my wife, whose face is like a silken rose. To my husband, <gasps> an ugly wart-covered toad. Now, just a darn minute. Not you, him. <gasps> Shoo, go away. Don't mind us, folks. Just go on enjoying yourselves. Enjoying ourselves? Can you imagine asking us to leave in the middle of the night? 
I hope you're not mad at me, Dad. Mad? You did us a big favor. You certainly did. I'd rather remember Silver Lake Lodge the way it used to be, filled with special honeymoon memories. It's got special memories for Willie, too. That's where he and Myrna spent their honeymoon.